what's up? I've been doing some organizing here because I don't know, I've never done I've never had this place really nice. And it would be cool to have it nice. I'm going by this rule, everything has a place, which I've been told by some very organized people. They they say that's the key to keeping things neat. I'll just go over it real quick. Here's books. Never really consolidated all my books together. This isn't a book, it's just something heavy and acting as a bookend. Interesting book here. I got this from the library. It was a discard. Very relevant book. People are like being brainwashed by this future TV and I don't know, no one feels anything. Everyone just kind of is a passive consumer of media and you know, critical thoughts kind of gone. It's a look at a dystopian future, I guess, which could become the actual future, but I don't think it will. There will be elements of that book. There already are elements of that book in real life, but anyway. The Team Fortress 2 locker scene. Added some figurines here. Wait, Johnny Bravo was already in there. Added the police car. And that Tashkoma and that Pajakoma, or is that what it is? I forget. Oh, uh, here's the Bonners County Fire Organization, or I don't know, some light bulb stress ball. Here's a little flute. I bought this on eBay some pictures. I don't know where to put these. I don't know where to put any of these thing, three things yet, but here's some stuff. I got this tablet for Christmas last year. Haven't done pretty much anything with it, but now I'm finally wanting to put it to use. Here's the uh, Android Assistant app. It's voice activated. Yeah, I'll, I'll show an example. I just made a reminder here. Remind me in 10 minutes to go outside. So cool. Oh. The voice recognition is so accurate. Um, it's slow, but whatever. Uh, it's going really slow. Anyway, I made this cardboard mount thing because I didn't want to buy something. A little clip out of some wire. This is like a, a small strip of cardboard right here that wraps around and it's taped on back. There's another cardboard flap taped on the back of this thing and then it's being wedged under this laptop to kind of keep it in place. It'll flop. Reminder, go outside at 9.01 a.m. today. Does that look okay? Yes. Um, okay, this thing... Make sure you don't forget. Thank you. Yeah, okay, this thing, uh, I need to make a separate video for this thing, but this is connected to this laptop. There's a little hint at what uh, this laptop does, but that's all I'll say on that for the moment. Up here, my movies. Um, this one, I need, I need to give back to my sister. <laughs> a Ghost in the Shell I have. Yeah, that's Standalone Complex, the first series. Second series, and then a bunch of the movies. Three movies, I think. And then, of course, there's Arise. I don't have any of the Arise movies yet, but I plan on getting those. Because I love the series, I want to support it. And, you know, Touch Como, so. Cowboy Bebop, that's a good one. Koya Nisukatsi. Really a deep movie. The uh, one that came with this was Palanisukatsi or something. I haven't even, I haven't seen that one yet. It's up here, oh here it is. Something about uh, wars, I think. I should watch that one. Uh, Read or Die, love it. I don't know, do you want to see a separate video about those? Here's a candy machine acting as a book and candy bank, I guess. It's like a piggy bank. I got that for Christmas. Anyway, back to the other organization stuff I've done so far. I put my scanner here. Uh, this is a Doxy one, I think. I added this power strip here, and it's connected down there, which I won't show because it's scary with all the cables. My cable management strategy is just, I put a desk in front of it. That's a Chris Perillo uh, quote there. Yeah, I cleared, I cleared up this space, which is very nice because it used to be just papers piled up. What I did was digitized everything. These things are, are like checks that I have to cash, and, Here's a letter from Ill Will Press. The space finally cleared up. I can put phones here or whatever that I'm charging. And I got this, you know, put any type of Uzba in here. That's the AC. I needed this power strip to be able to power this thing and that thing and this thing. So that made a big difference. Happy to have that gone. It's dusty here. I removed my microphone boom because I wasn't using it. Yeah, I still got organized this area. This is these sections are kind of organized. This is like my phones and wallet go there. This is uh, projects, and that one is that one's not organized. But there's some wire, multimeter, some relays. I like these little boxes. I make these out of 
and heavy duty paper. This is an upcoming project I want to start working on. This is ESP 8266, I think. The FTDI friend or similar. I'm planning on making a power strip, like, you know, a power strip like that or like that. ESP powered power strip so I can remotely turn off the power strip. I want to do that because we have a modem here, a CenturyLink modem that goes down a lot and it requires a reboot. I'm thinking of automating the reboot if CenturyLink goes down. I already have this script that runs hourly and, and checks if CenturyLink is down. If CenturyLink is down, then it emails me. But I thought it would be cool to have it automatically restart the modem. Another thing, the modem might be just dying and it might need to be replaced. I don't know if that's needed though. I have another DSL modem somewhere, but I have lost Battery died. And I had to refine my camera because I I don't know where my new camera spot is, which is down here. See, I've got my Rode reporter mic. I still need the cable. I haven't made the cable. I figured out my soldering iron is crap. It worked once and then it died. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's out in the shop, I think, but why did I bring that up? Oh yeah, cause, because I need to solder a cable for to connect my mic to a, my camera or my mic to my phone or whatever I'm gonna do. It's a mess in here. But it's getting better. I soldered something for this project. This box back here, but I'll talk about that in a different video. Oh, this shipping area, it's kind of nice. I've, I've never shown this area because it's so, it's horrible. There's no order here. Okay, there's an airsoft box, which is acting as a table. There's a power strip and there's some boxes that, these are empty boxes I need to break down, I think. But this is nice. It's never been nice like this. These, what? It looks horrible. Yes, it does, but this uh, this section, this box is nice, and that section, that box is nice, and that section, box, box, and the center section, nice. These are packing material, scrap cardboard, small scrap cardboard. This is um, uh, printing printer labels for my Dymo label printer. These are priority mailboxes down here. This is tape, tons of tape go on that thing. Um, these are small, oh wait, these are all the same size. Bubble mailers and more bubble mailers. And then priority mail, bubble mailers. Nice scale. And a place to pack stuff once this is cleared off. But nice, it's so much nicer than it was. It was before if I needed to ship something, it was like <sighs> aerobics. There's still much to do. I organized this kind of. These are like cups and plates will go here. This is some sauces, some napkins, breads, grains, I guess. These are like raw resources. That's some rice. And these are some, these are not raw. They're some backpacking bean soup, refried bean type stuff. Here's some beans, raw resources, raw resources there. Some trail mix. I like these. Fred Meyer got a good assortment of Asian food now. These are Korean, I think. Yeah, Nongshim is Korean. Good, good. Spaghetti. And some more rice. And I don't know how to prepare this. Tuna. Um, see, pills here, pills here, pills here, pills here. Pepto Bismol. Melatonin. Uh, get a sleepy feeling. Points. Pizzerita points. Um, this is a Pringles container, obviously. This is from the MRE. I figured I'd keep this like if I was going hiking or something, I could grab this. It's got coffee freeze-dried coffee and a spoon and napkin and salt and pepper and sugar, I think, and cream. I don't drink coffee, but I could give it to someone who does. I'm really excited for going to the grocery store today because I'm getting more Pringles. I like Pringles. <laughs> these are bags. I haven't figured out how to organize these yet. I did a couple vlogs, but I didn't like how they turned out because I wasn't in a good mood. But I, I do want to vlog some more because I realized I had a number of people message me and say, Hey man, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I missed the videos, basically. It made me realize, I'm not going to say IRL because I consider the internet to be real life. AFK, I have not many friends. Maybe a couple friends. Away from keyboard, my friends are my family. Uh, my best friends are my family. Almost all of my friends I've met through YouTube. I realized if I'm not posting videos, if I'm not updating people every now and then, then I might as well be dead to those people. So, I don't want to be dead. I guess the Insano vlog format is is hard for me to do, especially with 
my computer compositing compositing effects and stuff it's just not doable anymore it's like 10 seconds between like I cut something have to wait 10 seconds before I can do something else it, I need an upgrade to be able to do insane vlog style but anyway I want to do something simple simple uploads vine like uploads maybe just something short something short and to the point more often than something big and silly less, less often also I think I'm just gonna upload what I have of the the music video I made have been working on for two years now I think I might just upload what I have because it's I don't want to drag it on to year three I don't know I just, I just want to move on from that I don't want to have it in the back of my mind and having people forget about it and rather just share what I have because it's there's something there um, the van project I'll talk about it quickly the USA tour was kind of an escape from industrial communications where I worked now that it, I don't work there I don't know there's not much drive to do that tour actually there's drive right now to kind of explore not having a car you know public transportation I've never taken public transportation in Spokane but I'd like to there's this thing driving from point A to point B for a lot of people it's about the destination but walking or taking my longboard going from A to B it's an adventure every time I go and I think there's something to be said about that concept in life you know some people go to school and do their absolute best to get their dream job I kind of discovered that I don't really want a job I want a hobby that makes me some money and it doesn't have to be a lot of money it just has to be enough to have the necessity Anyway, that's it for now. I've recorded 20 minutes now. How you doing? How you doing, people? I haven't heard from you for a while. Uber Scientist, Drone Space, K2 ACP, 1223333 PLS, Jake, Peter, uh, Tempe Ibis. Yeah, how you guys doing? Uh, uh, there's some other people. Oh, there are some other people. The people who messaged me. Mark, was it? Yeah, how you doing? How you doing, people? I uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Oh, I'm going to the bank and Albertsons. I'm excited. I'm taking my longboard. This is my bank. Pep stations. So what do we got here? Level 2 charging station. 30 amp charging. Cool. Too bad I can't charge this thing. What are you supposed to say? Groovy! Killer, dude!